What's up, everybody? So, we made it to the last review of American Whiskey Month. <clears throat> I'm doing my favorite of the month so far, which is the Michter's Barrel Strength Toasted Barrel Finish Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. All right. This one is bottled at 55.1%, and it's a gem, in my opinion. It's not cheap. I paid about $100 Canadian for that. Um, maybe a touch more. I can't remember exactly what it came out to with shipping and whatnot. But honestly worth every penny in my opinion. And I've had some mictors that are not worth the price that they're at, that is being asked of it. Um, that's my opinion. A lot of people swear by mictors. They think that you know it's expensive stuff, but it's worth every penny. I don't agree. I think... A lot of their stuff is overpriced. I do really enjoy this one though, so I would probably buy a second bottle of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm apologizing for that in advance because a lot of people can't get their hands on this and once they hear that, they're gonna probably be upset that they can't get their hands on this uh, and they might end up overpaying for it. Listen to the review, see what you think, then make the call, all right? Beautiful toasted marshmallow note on this one. Buttery caramel. The mash bill is not disclosed. I want to say it's a little bit heavier on the rye than the corn, but I, I'm not 100% sure. There is no age statement, but I'm going to say that this is probably around the eight to 12 year mark. It, it smells older, it tastes older. Either that or they're using incredible barrels for this. Yeah, honestly, roasted marshmallows on a campfire, that's what I'm getting here. You get that nice rye spice on the palate. There is some corn there for sure. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably like, I don't know, 60, 65% rye, maybe a little bit more than that. That extra barrel finish definitely really smoothens this out. Um, I think <clears throat> that's what makes it taste older. Um, it might not be as old as eight years old, but because they finish it in a fresh barrel, it tastes much older um, because it's being hit with two fresh oaks, which is unique, I think. I would definitely buy a second bottle of this. I wouldn't pay north of 150 Canadian. Um, I would like to spend around the same for my second bottle, around $100. I think in the US, if you can buy it for $100 American, definitely buy, try it. If you're gonna go north of $100, be very careful, okay? Because you're not buying overly aged whiskey, so you have to really like rye. It's delicious, honestly it really is. Um, this is an A plus for me. As of today, this will be my last numerical grade for a while until maybe someone convinces me or I convince myself to start doing numbers again, but I would say this is probably like a 92, all right? Um, so A plus, 92 for the Canadian grading scale. Um, really, really good stuff, okay? Probably the best whiskey I've had for American Whiskey Month. Um, and if that's, I would even compare this probably to the William Leroux Weller that I had this year. So 
uh, in that ballpark. That's how good I think it is. Um, <clears throat> but again, north of $150, I wouldn't do it. Just because the only reason I spent more on the William LaRue Weller is because I know the trade value to that one. So I spent about 180 Canadian on the William LaRue Weller. Would I buy a second bottle of William LaRue Weller? Of course, um, but not to drink, not at that price. Um, if I'm buying it, I'm buying it to trade for a high-end scotch. Whereas this one, I would buy to drink below 150. So I hope that kind of makes sense for you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but um, I don't think people should be spending north of $200 for stuff that's less than 15 years old, all right? Um, I think as a whole, the American whiskey market, the bourbon market, the rye market is inflated. Uh, a lot of people describe it as a bubble that's gonna pop. I'm not sure if it's gonna pop. What I will say is it's way too expensive for what you're getting. Um, there are a lot of scotches out there that are better in my opinion, but then again, I'm a scotch guy, so uh, don't quote me on that. And if you're a bourbon guy, then go ahead, spend your money on what you like, right? But um, this is good stuff. Just don't go crazy and spend $200 for it, all right? I just wanna take a quick opportunity to thank all the Americans that have been watching my channel from day one. The majority of my channel is viewed by the US, and for that I'm very grateful. Um, I wanna wish you guys all a happy 4th of July because honestly, American Whiskey Month is my way of giving back to you guys uh, for the fact that you guys are the majority of my viewership and I really appreciate it. Okay, so Thanks again. Happy 4th of July. I know it's in a couple days, but I'm sending it to you early You guys can check me out on Instagram Twitter Facebook and you guys can also support the channel on uh, Patreon. Cheers